Sarah Saxenian. I'm Dean of the School of Information at UC Berkeley. As the field of data science began to emerge over the past five or six years, I was hearing more and more from my advisors and colleagues about how important it would be, and I realized that the School of Information would be a perfect place to study data because we're very cross-disciplinary. We have a really nice mix of people. As we saw... Uh, my background before Airbnb was actually as a PhD student at Stanford in the School of Education. Uh, I was building predictive models of friendship, so studying adolescent friendship networks in schools, and I was really interested in when students made friends with those who were different from themselves, so from a different socioeconomic background or racial background, and what kind of structures in the school might facilitate greater diversity. So, for example, Airbnb has a review system where a guest reviews a host and a host reviews them back. And the way that it used to work was if I left a review for you, you could see it and then leave your review for me. And so we got complaints from people saying that when they had a bad experience, they felt like they couldn't write an honest review because they were worried that the person would kind of retaliate back against them. Um, and so we kind of saw that in our data and we suggested changing the system so that when I leave a review for you, you can't see it until you leave one back for me. And so it's like a little change, but we ran it as an experiment and it was really interesting to see the results. And one of the kind of unexpected results was that our review rates skyrocketed because people wanted to see what the other person had written about them. <laughs> My name is Joe Hellerstein. I'm a, also a computer science professor here at Berkeley. So my background is very much in the systems behind data management. Um, and over the years, in the 90s, I got interested in topics that connected user experience, statistics, and data management systems together. And what was clear to me was that you know, the bottleneck in, uh, in computing, especially around data, was with people. And that we had to take technologies and address human efficiency problems rather than computer efficiency problems. Out of that project, we have two startups, so Captricity and Trifacta, which is the name of my company, as well as an open source package called Madlib that's widely used for machine learning at uh, large scale in uh, parallel database systems. What I like to talk about is, the, you know, particularly when you look at problems that are human facing, is when you take uh, a quantitative change, so something you can measure in time or in, in uh, resources, it becomes a qualitative change. It's, it's such a big change that you behave differently, that you can do different things. I think some of the shifts that Jan was alluding to between batch processing and interactive processing, sort of on the back end, are related to this. It really changes the way that data scientists and data people think about what problems can I address with data? You know, how will I spend my time? How will I allocate time between kind of the, the messy business of doing data and the interesting business of applying that data to real